Hi guys, welcome to Facts and Action YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about some of useful websites. If you have decided to buy second hand or third party phones, so these websites can be very useful for you. So these websites will give you information about any phone. The information like clean ASN or financed iCloud activation lock status, like listed or stolen phones, etc. The websites which are useful are imediata.net, swapa.com, icloud.com, and checkcourage.apple.com. So first, let's check this one, imediata.net. I will try one iPhone. So I got that iPhone IME number. So all you have to enter IME number here. 0134280026298820 and click on check. So wait a few seconds and it will give you information about the phone, model, brand, and SIM lock carrier, etc. So first we want to check SIM lock carrier. So click on free check now. Wait a few seconds and it will give you information about the phone and find my iPhone is also on on this device and uh, let's check uh, blacklist or stolen information free check now I mean data database is clean totally and uh, it can be used with AT&T in USA where is the network it can also be used with this T Mobile is not sure unknown, Sprint is also unknown, and Cricket, Metro, Telus, Telenor. So these SIM cards can also be used in this phone. So now let's check the same IMEI and swapa.com. Copy this, come to swapa. Actually, swapa will give you less information than IMEDATA.net. Let's check here. Wait a few seconds. And it will process in the database. Okay. That blacklisted. It's not indicated. So it's clear. Activation status is also clean and clear. So you can activate this device with any SIM card. And let's check the same I mean number in activation lock website so this is for iPhone users for example I want to check and see that activation lock status is on on this iPhone or not and now let's see and click continue oops B5 continue okay so activation lock is on on this device let's check the same IME mean number here for um, coverage and service paste it here and click continue oops and MMUP Okay, so valid purchase date is valid. The technical support is expired and repairs in service coverage also expired. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.